Hey everyone, it's Tiffany with Life in Dallas, Fort Worth, and today I wanted to actually bring you the pros and cons of Richardson, Texas. And the reason that I'm doing that is because it's actually getting a lot of attention right now. I feel like it's because it was voted as the 12th best place to live in all of America. Who would have known? People are starting to pay attention. I'm going to go over some pros and cons, so I'm not even going to tell you really what my my thoughts are yet because I'm going to go through them. So niche.com recently put out their top 25 neighborhoods in Dallas, Fort Worth. And if you wouldn't believe me, the top 10, five of the top 10 were in Richardson, Texas. Oh my gosh, that's mind blowing. And so I will say that Canyon Creek is one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of the Metroplex in uh, North and South. They're both obviously in Richardson. So definitely look into Canyon Creek if you want to live in Richardson and Greenwood Hills is number one. So check that one out too. And I think that it's super price appropriate. Okay, so let's get started. The first pro that I wanna talk about is affordability. So Richardson has an average home value of about 435,000. And so it has such a wide range of neighborhoods as well as homes on small lots, on large lots. And right now on the market, you could move to Richardson and buy a $1.6 million home or $169,000 condo. I think the highest price listing in Richardson right now is two, almost 2.7 million. And at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna show you that house and what it looks like on the inside. So stay tuned to the end. But there's so many options on affordability and I feel like Richardson really fits most everyone. The cost of living in Richardson is actually slightly below the na national average. And you can take a look at bestplace.net and actually it's bestplaces.net and actually do a cost of living comparison on city to city, if that's helpful in your move. Another pro is once again, I know I talk a lot about school systems here in Dallas-Fort Worth, but Richardson has their independent school district, has a really great rating, it's an A. Texas in general has great school systems. You do need to, to look and see because some are ranked higher than others, but across the board, Texas comes in really high in their school ratings. You have like Coppell and Frisco, Lucas, which is Lovejoy, ISD that they do rank higher but not by much so you can get you can go to greatschools.org or even niche.com and look at those specific schools and elementary junior highs and high schools but it is rated as a name and this area is just super competitive with academics as well as athletics everybody knows that athletics is big here in Texas and I think I say that in all my videos, but just know that if you do have a competitive child, that they're probably gonna take it up a notch here just because we are legit when it comes to coaches and everything athletics. When comparing Richardson ISD to many other states, Richardson ISD actually ranks in the top you know, of the country. So I don't think you're gonna go wrong there. The city's also home to the University of Texas, Dallas, and it is a huge and beautiful campus. So if you want to be in the UT school system, then the, the Dallas campus is a really great place to be. It's obviously a renowned institution and it's got so many different availabilities of undergraduate and graduate programs. I also wanna point out that Richardson is ranked 13 out of 228 cities for best cities to raise a family in in America. And the population is around 112,000. So it's not huge, but not small. So you kind of have that middle ground. My next pro could be a con depending on what you like home-wise, but I think that there are pros and cons to it, but the bulk of homes in Richardson are older and because if Richardson's an older city. So the pro is that they don't all look the same. I feel like some of the newer neighborhoods are all really cookie cutter. And in fact, the newest neighborhoods, developers are actually making it to where houses have to look different. And I feel like they're kind of catching on to that. Hey, we don't want every single house on the street to look the same. Um, so it gives a little more character, but Richardson, because of its age, has so much more character. So the homes don't look all the same and there's a lot of ranch style there's a lot of mid-century modern which is back in style so you have people buying them and then they're renovating them 
And what's cool about that is you can get a really good deal on a house and then just put your own touches on or even update as you go and build value in those houses. So I love that aspect of it. I have flipped over 50 houses and love the design portion. I love the construction portion. So it, if you have any questions about that, let me know too. Typically with older homes, you're gonna have bigger trees. You're gonna have more mature neighborhoods. Sometimes you even have wider streets than they have now. So most of the homes were built in the 60s, 70s and 80s. If that kind of gives you a um, bird's eye view of what the neighborhoods are going to look like now the con with having a little bit of older homes is there's some maintenance you know upkeep first of all they're not going to be as energy efficient as the newer homes you can replace the windows though and get better graded windows i've got a great window guy if you need that referral but the it's just not going to be as energy efficient you can um, put some more insulation in the attic you can even get radiant barrier so there's things you can do but it's maintenance it's cost so just know that going into it there is not a ton of new construction in Richardson. There is some. So if you are looking for new construction, reach out because I can help you find it in Richardson, but there's just not a ton. So for example, I know I just told you about Canyon Creek and those homes are going to range from 315,000 all the way up to 1.8 million. And a lot of times people are buying in Canyon Creek and then renovating because they're so, they're older homes or they're scraping them, meaning they're tearing that whole home down and rebuilding, you know, a big, beautiful home. So you have options there. Another new construction opportunity is actually University Place. It's got about 163 acres. It's a master plan community, multiple floor plans available. And sorry, there's something flying in the air. <laughs> so some are moving ready and you can reach out because they're gonna be anywhere from the high 600s, like, 680 690 all the way up to the 900,000 range so and they are zoned richland i mean richardson isd but i can definitely help you out in that um, area so i'm gonna call this a con but some people that you either love it or you hate it let me just put it that way people are very opinionated about it but a lot of the richardson subdivisions have rear entry garages which means there's an alleyway in between the houses. So the houses back up to each other and there's an alleyway in between them. And so you drive down the alleyway and then enter your garage from the back. I mean, it's not, the, the pro is the street view is beautiful because there's no garages in the front, you know? So you just have a beautiful house, you have landscaping. And so that garage is hidden in the back. The con is that I feel like you don't, you don't have the opportunity so much to get to know your neighbors because you drive in and you go into your garage and you don't really see the neighbors on your street. So you have to put more effort into getting to know people. So, you know, it's pros and cons. Some people love it, some people hate it. I prefer a front garage because I like being out and about and talking to my neighbors and, you know, seeing my front yard and just all those things. A pro is the economic opportunities that Richardson's offering. Right now, it's a growing economy with a very low unemployment rate. It's actually kind of known as the telecom corridor. And that's due to a, a lot of telecommunication companies that have called Richardson their home. So other sectors are technology, healthcare, finance, but there's it's a really great job market in Richardson if that's something that you're interested in. The, the job market is, is really diverse. You've got T, Verizon, Cisco Systems, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield of Texas. They also have a more diversity for jobs. You've got AT&T, Verizon, Cisco Systems. You've got Blue Cross, Blue Shield of Texas. There's a long list of companies in Richardson. So the city's economy is growing steadily. It's very healthy there with a big focus on attracting new businesses and promoting really great innovation. So the Richardson Economic Development Partnership actually is um, a resource and support to businesses in the city. And so that's super helpful when a company is trying to decide if they want to go to Richardson for that to be their headquarters. Okay. Another con, and this is a big one to me because Richardson sits in an area, it's close enough to Dallas um, that you just zip to Dallas and zip back. I'll actually show you. Let me just show you um, the map really quick. Okay, this is Richardson in the red outline. I'm gonna zoom out just so you can kind of see where it is. So you've got Dallas proper right here. 
I talk about Frisco a lot. It's way up here. And then Prosper and Salina. You've got McKinney. I've done videos on that. And then Plano. Okay, Plano is right north of Richardson, which is right here. But notice how um, quickly you can get to Dallas. Now, this highway that I just drew over is 75. And that is the biggest con to me about Richardson is that's the major highway that goes through it. And I can't stand 75 because it right here, this is the reason. So this is the tollway, the Dallas North tollway, and it costs money. So if you do not want to spend money and drive on a, on a highway to get somewhere fast, every, then you're going to take 75. So you can imagine how many people don't want to necessarily have to, to pay to drive. So everybody goes to 75. So just know that during rush hour traffic, it's a beating. And so I try to avoid it at all cost. But another great thing is that there is public trans transportation. There's a train and you can get all, from Plano all the way to Dallas and back on public transportation. So if you don't want to fight that traffic, then just jump on a train, go downtown and then come back. So just letting you know that that's where Richardson is. And because of where it's positioned, there is a lot of traffic. So you're going to just have to deal with that because proximity, it's great. So you can, you know, shoot all the different areas. You can get, you know, to the University of, da of Dallas, you can get to downtown, you can get to, I think, Frisco and Plano really fast, but just know that you're going to have traffic. It just is what it is with Richardson. Okay, I already said a little bit about this, but a pro is its location and I just showed you on the map, but it is a suburb of Dallas. It's just north of downtown Dallas. And I just think you could you could get to the DFW airport within you know 20 to 30 minutes, depending on traffic. It's 15 miles from downtown Dallas and has public transportation. So I think location wise, man, if you work in Dallas and you want a little bit of a smaller price point on homes, then Richardson's a really great place for you. Okay, I know I already said it because I showed you the map, but the pro to Richardson is public transportation because not all cities around here have it. And so if that's something like maybe you're a one car household and you want to live by public transportation, then definitely look into Richardson. So you've got not only the DART bus, but the commuter train that I told you about earlier. So, and it also, Richardson's really bike friendly. It's actually got bike lanes, which not all cities have either. Some cities don't care about bikes and I don't know why. Okay, the last pro that I want to really touch on is Richardson's outdoor space because they have so much nature and outdoor walking trails and fun things to do. If you love parks, trails, being outside, then Richardson is definitely a place for you to look into. It's They've done a fantastic job of creating green space throughout the neighborhoods, throughout the city. Canyon Creek, I know I keep going back to Canyon Creek, but if you guys just drive through that neighborhood, it's stunning. It really is. I had a friend that flipped a house over there and I listed it for them. I've had multiple buyers buy in there, but it's got a huge creek that goes through it. I mean, it's picturesque. Just for example, everybody and their dog does their senior pictures out there and their wedding pictures and their engagement pictures, their family pictures, all of it because it's so pretty. So just know that Canyon Creek, there's actually six parks within Canyon Creek and Richardson overall has about 30 parks. So you're, you're never going to run out of things to do. And they have the Spring Creek nature area. It's actually 58 acres of nature preserve. And I did a drone video of it and it's just, you can't even see anything. It's just trees as the drone goes over. So it's, people go there running and walking and they do picnics and it's really accessible. So it's not hard to get to. And it's right smack dab in the middle of Richardson. So I think it's a great area if you like to be outdoors. But now let me take you to the highest price point right now listed in Richardson. Okay, the highest price point in Richardson right now is right under 2.7 million. It's this house and it's What's crazy about this is it doesn't look like it from the front uh, because this right over here is still a part of the house. It, it looks like it's the next door neighbor, but it's not. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you, this is right under 10,000 square feet. It's got eight bedrooms, 
six bathrooms, six full bathrooms, which it's funny because the picture that I'm about to show you, they put all the bathrooms at the end, which I've never seen before in our listings, but it's, it's kind of funny. And then they've got two half baths. They've got a four car garage. They've got a pool in the backyard and screened in. Well, let me just, it's on half and almost half an acre. So it's a big, a big little estate, but I'm just going to kind of show you through. So this is a better curb picture of it. Here's the pool. So you've got views of the pool on both sides of the house, which is nice. And you've got a balcony, but notice the screened in porches. One of the cons about Texas in general is our mosquitoes and our little flying bugs, but mosquitoes are, I'm not going to lie in the summer, they're horrible. And so having these screened in porches is amazing because you have that indoor outdoor space without having to figure out the whole mosquito thing. So there is a great place to have breakfast. And then it has the dual staircase, which is popular. And now I'm not going to say it doesn't need a little bit of updating because I think it does because it's a little bit dark, but if that's your style, more power to you. But some people want it to be a little bit lighter, but it's just super unique and very large. That's part of the pantry and that's huge. Media room, game room. This is a sitting area and then laundry, which is quite large. This is the master, this whole thing. And then you go up these stairs and look, this is the um, sitting area that's at the base of the stairs. You go upstairs and you have a whole private office mezzanine that's a part of your master suite. That's unbelievable. You can watch TV up there. You can work up there, be completely away from the rest of the house. And then it just has bedrooms and bedrooms and bedrooms and more offices. So it has something for everyone. I just kind of wanted to show you all what you can get in Richardson for right under 2.7. This is the master bath and it's really large and the closets are really large. Now here's the long line of bathrooms, which I think is funny, just bathroom after bathroom after bathroom. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to show you all that. I hope that this kind of gave you an overview of what Richardson has to offer. It is a great city. I feel like it's overlooked a lot. So I wanted to highlight it, show you the pros and cons because the price point, you can get into Richardson for $160,000 if you wanted a little condo, all the way up to what I just showed you, which is 2.7 million. So if you have questions about Richardson, text me. If you got my phone number here, email me, doesn't matter. I'm available. We'll get back to you, uh, me and my team. And thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, I hope you have a great rest of your day.